again strong game and, and you know what did you notice them paying extra maybe a little extra attention to you after what happened last week teams are going to do that oh yeah yeah i feel like at first um they were kind of playing off coverage they weren't trying to they weren't trying to um <clears throat> press me as much and then i feel like they towards the end they kind of started rolling the safeties and then towards really the end of the game and then they started to try to um test me try to press me a little bit so yeah they had a little bit of game plan well, how did you think the offense flowed? I mean, over 500 yards, it was. It seemed like it went, you know, kind of a little bit of up and down. Yeah, it was. It was a little rocky. We had our ups and our downs uh, throughout the whole game. Um, I feel like we just uh, we didn't execute when we needed to. You know, we made plays some uh, when we did, and then but when we really needed them, we didn't make them. So I feel like we got to do better with that. Hey, one thing in the stats I forgot. You threw the ball. <laughs> oh yeah. Did your brother, did your brother, help you with that? He was a quarterback uh, yeah. in the family. Yeah, I had a little practice with him. I went home and had him teach me up a little bit how to throw it. So yeah. Well, how much fun was that play though? Oh, that was real fun. I was happy that they uh, let me do something like that and got me to throw the ball back to corn. So yeah, I was real happy about that play. All right, reset us here because uh, man, the, the huge high after Texas, and I know, I mean, I was in that locker room. It's gut wrenching in there, and I don't know if you saw AJ. I mean, he was he was back there, and I, I think he I think he somewhat collapsed with the emotion. I mean, mm -hmm. people don't realize how how hard this game can be, not only on you physically, but how hard something like this can be on you mentally. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, to this, this is more than just a game to some of us. You know, we do we've been doing this our whole lives, so people from the outside really don't understand what we go through as a team and how we take things on the field and off the field. So I feel like people just don't know what we go through inside the locker room. Talk a little bit about the interception. I know it was a long time ago, but I like to hit the highlights on this too. Take us through the interception. Um, just from coming from watching film and knowing what they do in the red zone, I read the keys and Coach Knows made a great defensive call and I adjusted to the ball and picked it up. All right, help me out too and help your buddy out because I know how close you and AJ are. Mm -hmm. And and he's you know I mean he's he's sick in more ways than one after this. When you're a corner and 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 you have to defend a play like that, take me through that, bro. It's a, it's a tough process. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough process, man. Coming from finding the ball and then trying to get in control of the wide receiver. We all know, Dazell uh, Mills is a big wide receiver, so that was a hard task, and many people won't understand how tough it is to cover a wide receiver like that in the end zone. So at the same time, you know, he had to make that play, you know. And Dazell Mills made a great play, and we're gonna rally back and we're gonna hold AJ up, and man, we're gonna come back next week and be much better.